Today I'm getting straight to the point with regards to what I think is going to happen. I don't want to come across as though there is no hope in the future. Of course there is. However, I think what we're facing at the moment is so serious that <clears throat> we can't fix it. We can only mitigate it. And I'm going to use an example here to get you to understand that of hypertension. And because there is such a slow response from the medical and the scientific community to address the seriousness of what's going on with COVID, it means every day, every month, every year lost is compounding the problem. My belief is that all we can do now is mitigate issues. We can't stop them. So quick example to give you an idea as to what I'm talking about. And it's all related to Franklin D. Roosevelt. Um, and he was a previous president of the United States. The first thing you have to understand is the principle of hypertension. Normal blood pressure, 120 over 80, slightly elevated, 120 to 29 over 80. And as you can see, it goes up to a hypertensive crisis greater than 180. Now, most people have a good understanding about hypertension. And if they're hypertensive, what I usually encourage people to remember is that your blood pressure is your responsibility. And as such, in the description, there is a link to a free hypertension course around COVID, where you can also download a free PDF with regards to monitoring your numbers and understanding the basics of what you have to do, because this is so important. However, this is now where the facts and the science is beyond anybody's opinion. So here are the facts, and I'm going to use Franklin D. Roosevelt to help you to understand what I'm talking about. Franklin D. Roosevelt was having his blood pressure monitored, but at that time, we didn't really know much about hypertension. And so you can see in 1937, his blood pressure was 188 over 105. And the essence as to what they were thinking at that time was that he had essential hypertension, meaning there must have been a good reason for his blood pressure to be elevated, so it must have been essential. And it wasn't until they started to see the longer-term outcomes around hypertension that they realized that this was a problem, which is why hypertension is still a silent problem. In 1944, during his fourth term, his blood pressure was 260 over 150. And his doctors were still just monitoring this. They didn't know what to do with it. And in reality, they didn't have any answers in any case because they didn't have any antihypertensive drugs. And he died in April of 1945. And you can see here that he complained of a severe headache lost consciousness and died within hours and he had a massive cerebral hemorrhage classic complication of untreated hypertension in march of that year so just a month before his blood pressure was 300 over 190 the highest ever recorded in a sitting president now the reality is that even if i was transported back in time and I could address his blood pressure and manage his um, blood pressure with medication and so on, I would be able to extend his life, but it would be mitigating the damage that was already done. These are the complications. The eye damage would already be done. Peripheral vascular disease would have been done. His kidneys would have gone. His heart would have been hypertrophied and at risk for other problems. His brain arteries would have been damaged. All of this would have already been done when his blood pressure was elevated. This is exactly the same that we have at the moment with regards to COVID. It is a silent crisis. The virus is still circulating. A lot of people are underestimating it, hoping it will go away. But every time it goes around, it's doing more damage. 
the longer we leave it, the worse it gets. That's the catastrophe. At this point, the only hope we can do is to mitigate it. And every month that passes, more people are damaged permanently. They just don't know it yet. That's our problem. People will underestimate what happens with this virus. But even a mild infection can do serious damage to the organs. And I'm telling you this because I see how it works. Don't underestimate this. Protect your health. Advocate that this be taken seriously. Because if you don't, just like what happens with blood pressure, if you are not monitoring your blood pressure and you end up with a catastrophe, nobody is calling your doctor to find out why. It is your problem and your responsibility. Final reminder, remember there is a free course in the link, hypertension, COVID, and the COVID vaccine, all the links there, talking about the general information, what it means, and what you can do. Critically, there is a blood pressure monitoring sheet. Free for you, please take the opportunity to learn about it and reflect on the implications as it does with regards to health for COVID circulating around the country. Have a great evening.